I'm the bad guy. Duh. <laughs> You cause all this conversation Always stay gracious Best revenge is your paper excited about this project but this project is a headache at the same time because it's always something new it's good morning guys i'm at work it's a monday and it's a new vlog so i'm here at work trying to get some stuff done but uh, um the guy who normally buy the stuff that we need didn't buy the right stuff because we wanted to um, finish painting the floor and we wanted more rollers because once we use the rollers it's not usable anymore because it dry and it dry stiff no matter what we do we can't wash it out or anything like that so we wanted to finish the floor but we're unable to do so because of the the brush we don't have the right i don't know so the guy is downstairs doing the masonry work he did a lot of work so far and it would look good again um hopefully it doesn't crack especially because the tree um we got rid of the tree already but i want to do some work today but i don't think i'm able to do anything as yet because um of the supplies we don't have the right supplies I'm the sick and tired of this messy place right now. Uh, I want to sweep, clean up, and everything. I just don't know what to do anymore, you know? Um, Because it's really messy. It's really, really messy, and I hate working in mess. But um, we might have to go in the office space today to just do some um, painting. Because the bathroom is not going to be able to finish, and the only thing we have left to do is the floor we already sprayed the sink again We can't get to paint the floor, but it's raining, and <laughs> I want to do something today. I feel like I'm not doing anything, and I want to finish the bathroom floors, and that's the only thing we have left, and put a few things up, so, so I'll see you guys there. I'm in traffic. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just after three. I didn't even get on the highway yet, and there's a lot of cars out here. Like, getting on the highway. Oh my god. Anyways, um, we got a contractor came to check on um, 
the building just so we could get someone to paint the building and do a little um sheet rocking sheet rock there um there and here and there oh my god i am a mess but um, they're gonna paint downstairs soon. As soon as he gives us a price, hopefully the price is good, and then we'll be able to paint. Um, start doing the painting and stuff like that because we are interior designers. We are not painters to be doing all these massive painting jobs. So um, we're still working on the bathroom. Um, like I said, now I regret driving on the main street because I didn't know the highway is gonna be this pack already. It's like I said, it's after three, so I don't understand this traffic right now. I just wanted to get to Home Depot and then go back to the um location and then finish what we need to do so I could go home early today. I do not want to be home late. I don't want to get home late today. So I'm almost at my destination, but it wasn't even traffic. It was people being nosy because they was on the road fixing something. And the next thing is because it was raining. So you know when it rains for some reason, people are scared to drive. But anyways, after I dilly dally and cut through whoever I need to cut through to get to where I want to go, I realized that it wasn't no traffic. It was just people being scared. But I have one thing though. If you're so scared of driving in the rain, why you don't have your light on? You know, when you're driving in the rain, you should have some type of light on, right? I'm not talking high beams light either. I'm talking lights. Lights so we could see you coming. Or lights so people could see you going where you're going. Like, it just be ridiculous. But anyways. <laughs> I'm almost there. So I've been sleeping in my um, son's room, right? Just so I could get him to get used to sleeping in his room. And we're on this twin size bed and it is killing my back. At this point, my body is killing me. Uh, I don't know how long, how much longer I have to stay in it, but I might just get up and let him sleep in my room again because my body is killing me. Let's see. They'll come here for again brush. And what else did I get here? Oh, I need some drill. Okay. I don't want these. And I also these teeny ones this one on. so we have the big ones already so we need to stick for the big ones Ugh. I don't see it <laughs> uh, maybe these oh my god
bathroom floors finally I'm not finished just yet because um, there's a little spot that I need to paint and I can't get to so I'm going to um, <laughs> come back maybe tomorrow and try to see if I could get that area I'm gonna show you guys anyways and then um, we have one more can of paint left and one more gray one so we have a few more paint to stretch if anything also i don't know what happened or what's going on but the paint that was already on the floor already and i paint over that spot just a little bit that area bubbles up and it look nasty so ugh. and i tell you it's always something but we're almost done and i feel like i'm getting somewhere that's all i needed just feel like i'm getting somewhere I'm gonna show you guys how to. Tonight was in bed. Lift your hips. Beautiful. Inner thighs here. We're, we're squeezing in on the wall. too much for me today she worked me out my legs was weak today I was shaking most of the stuff I didn't make it I don't know today wasn't a good day I don't know because I didn't drink any tea because normally I drink tea in the morning but I didn't drink any today so I think that was also an issue then I left my water so I couldn't even sip on anything to quench my thirst or nothing. I don't know, but I did what I could. I did the best that I could. But there's this one girl that's in the classroom. I don't know why she keep looking at me. But she keep looking at me like, you know, someone's just trying to compete. I'm not bitch. I'm trying to work out. I'm not trying to compete. Like, we could obviously see that you've been going to the gym for a long time. Don't get... <laughs> like, I got muscle in my legs. And I do look tall and I look like I work out. No. 
today I was struggling and I wasn't in the mood. Last week I was in the mood and you were struggling. So give me the chance to struggle today in peace, okay? God damn it. Every time I look up, she's looking at me. But other than that, though, oh God, I really do feel sick. I really feel sick. I'm going to this appointment with this headaches. Three yeah, headaches. I took out of school know. today. <laughs> so two of them getting checked out one of them about to get shot and they're able to get something to eat they went to have a haircut today I'm about to buy some, a jacket for the girls but they need their winter jacket call it a day happy monday do gangsters go to upstairs gangsters go where go to doctors Oh, it would be smart to go check up and make sure you're good. Right. Yeah, they're trying to be bad and you, your body is acting out. I do the finger now. I, I did Don't finger. slap him in the face with the damn. Mommy, I did the finger. Yeah. Wow. Finger. Finger. I'm not actually doing it. This, this is my hand holding it. Yeah. Holding it. That's really good. They did a good job. You getting a haircut today? I'm getting Or actually line up. Okay, no, that's not fair. How do you do that? Hey guys, good morning. I am on my way to the gym. I just signed up for a Pilates class at 10. It was the last minute. Um, I haven't taken a Pilates class in a while, but I wanted to do one because if I don't go to the gym today, I will not be able to go to the gym at least the two to three days that I, the three to four days that I want to within the week. Um, today is Saturday and I didn't do anything <laughs> all week i've been ripping and running and all over the place um i have a whole bunch i had a whole bunch of um doctor's appointment for the kids so i had to do those um within the week and i had to go to work and focus on all this crazy stuff so today i am going to the gym i'm like here now so i have like three minutes to get to class so yes hopefully i get to record today if it's not crazy then um I will if not I I'll just do it another day but I like to go in and fill the class out and see how it is because trust it be rough okay it be so friggin rough oh really I thought she was park going in okay so I see you guys when I get in bye yeah <laughs> So hey guys, um, the class was actually good. It's just the last part when I started um when we start doing stretches and stuff like that. You know, you have to bend down and stuff like that. I started feeling weak and you know not dizzy really but my adults just start feeling nauseous so <laughs> thank god i had a piece of chocolate in my bag i had to take a bite of it because i think my sugar level was just low um but i feel a little bit better now i'm just sitting here in the car i just got here so far my stomach hurts um um so that's a good sign um it's hurt like as in tender 
not like sick but workout was good today it was really good um i didn't get to record anything because like i said it's a, um, a new class for me so i try to get the full concept of the whole thing or you know what what it's about really or what the instruction um the instructor is good at like you know what she let us really do because every pilates you teach every pilates um instructors are different i'm like all over the place i'm tired <laughs> but every pilates instructor instructor is different they do different things and there wasn't any equipment so it's mostly f um floor workout and it was really good i i think i did really good it wasn't hard it wasn't really hard it was just at the last 10 minutes my legs were so tired of lifting and elevating off the floor and all this extra stuff so i just started getting tired but i did really good for for like my um first time doing pilates without the instruction without the equipment i'm tired but i'm about to head home when it been a few hours when it felt like days only been days but it felt like months we gone for a year only go like once Fast and you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. What you want. Might have been a few hours when it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. I've been gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast and you do what you want. School prep, getting ready for school. All a bunch of different things. We got the Jamaican section, all this crazy popcorns, and a whole bunch of different things. A little bit of sweets, and yeah, I just did this. Now I'm tired. <laughs> so you're back from Beach Park. Tell her you're not going to dip that. Like Chinese, why? So the clip that. Show it up and make your fall from your dish tag. You know why? I'm not a dish tag. I'm a big tag. I saw you disappear if you never did ban. You know what? Couple kilos, me not just a thing. So, hey guys, good afternoon. I am heading to the Dollar Store and um, Target to pick up a few things. Um, maybe for school and cleaning. And then I'll get back home and then I'm going to work. But in the meantime, good morning. What's up? What's good? What's popping? Hope you guys are having a good day. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> I just saw a little boy. He looked like he's around 14. Standing with a speaker with a big poster board sign saying, Help my mom pay rent. <laughs> oh my God. That is so sad. Like, that broke my heart. That the fact that he's actually trying his best to help. And I'm hopefully that's exactly what he's doing. Helping his mother pay bills. And, you know, I'm thinking about it. Like, where is his dad? Like, where is his dad? Like, he didn't even say help my parents. He said help my mom. Fathers, you have to step up and start taking care of your kids too because I don't know what that was about and I didn't want to take a picture or record him because I didn't want to, you know, he's a little boy. I didn't want to put him out there. But it's so sad. Like, that broke my heart. Because so I'm thinking, that could have been my child who is 12 right now, who is about to be 12. Like, that's, that's crazy. But with that being said... Um, I wanted to tell you guys about an incident that happened the other day um, when I was, my sister and I was leaving the building, right? We're coming out of the building. It was dark. It was like around like 8 o'clock and we was walking towards our car, which is in like a private lot. So 
so we walk towards the car and you know normally i will open the back um seat because for instance for my safety too because i like to see inside the car so i opened the back door to put my bags in there and then my sister was just standing there and just looking but i heard a car a van like you know a, car, a vehicle stopped like sudden stop like a quick stop right and i turned around i'm like what the hell and it was just staying and it was just like parked right there for like a couple seconds like you know i want 30 seconds just staring at us and then no one was staring at us because there was no one else around and and the spot that we was at there was no way for you to drive down that area or anything because it was like a park a private spot so um upon us looking at him like the person like what the hell both of us was looking like crazy so shelly was like come on let's go let's let's move because this don't look good so i opened the driver's side now and then i turn around again and then when i turn around he um reverse like back more closer to us real quick i'm like what the hell so we just standing looking and i'm like whoa so we got in the car and then soon after the car just speed off so it was like a little minivan and on the van it was like you can't see inside at all that's how tinted the van was and the back of it um it was a van so you couldn't see inside of it sorry if you couldn't hear me but you couldn't see inside of it and um it had a pest control on it so i'm thinking why a pest control outside this day this stopping so quick and all doing this um sudden movements like crazy right so i say this to say i say that to say this you guys have to be aware of your surrounding no matter where you are because it could be really be someone out there trying to kidnap people and they saw us as a chance to try to do something but because our door was already open and we was already ready to dash in the car and we noticed them we were just staring at them we didn't turn our back at to them at all please be aware like make sure before you go in your car you look inside your car all this extra stuff because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now like like crazy stuff women and children being abducted and you know all this crazy stuff like oh like i was prepared all <laughs> Cause I was ready to fight somebody. I didn't have anything but like a cup in my hand and a bag. But I was ready to fight. Like I was ready to fight. And I need a type of some type of weapon or something. I, I can't have any maids because I live in New York. For some reason, they don't deliver anything or sell anything like that here. And for me to have a, like a little small like a pocket knife, sometimes that should be taking forever to open. So it's like, what can we do? Like. We can't even be ourselves out here because people trying to kidnap people, send them for organs and all this crazy stuff. But be aware of your surrounding at all times. All times. No matter what. If you're suspicious of something, please stop and take notice. If not, get your butt to wherever you go, close the door, and keep it moving. Okay? So there is a five below store near me. I am so excited. <laughs> I am like a kid in a candy store right now. I want to see what they have and I'm going to grab what I can. Okay. I am excited. They got some really nice stuff. See you guys in a sec. Look at that. I want you. Yeah, these are cute. It's a neon light. So I got me one of those. Oh, they got a black one. Well, the black one is better. Hold on. I'm sorry, but I couldn't get to show you guys anything because I had to leave the damn store. <laughs> I had to get out the store. Oh my God. Let me take you guys out my face because I'll be having you guys in my morning, okay? But I had to leave the store. There was so much stuff in that damn store. I haven't been in that store in the longest time. And I know exactly why. Because everything adds up. Okay? I just bought a few little things. And it came up to 30 something dollars. I don't think I even got five things. And the reason why I got up. So is because my sister called me. But if she didn't call me. It would have been done. Okay? <laughs> oh my god. Everything in the store is so pretty so pretty it's like an upgrade from the dollar store and that's what i'm scared of 
that's why I like to go to the dollar stores because when I go to the dollar store I just buy random stuff you know <laughs> I am excited because I cannot wait for me to get the next day off like I'm so excited I'm ready to go to bed so I can wake up early in the morning to go to the store that's how serious I am right now oh but I gotta go to work I have work to go to am I in the right lane yeah I have work to go to so I have to go home I have to go home I gotta go to work but I am so excited because I didn't buy a lot of stuff for the kids schoolers yet so I can go in this store and buy all the cute stuff for them and yes and I can win because I I was looking for a spider-man um lunch bag for my son to go with his book bag and on Amazon I was gonna buy it for $22 $22 and I just saw it in the store for $5.85 $5.85 you know I had to buy it right so I took it up yeah I got it so they have like um cute little back to school stuff and like cute room stuff so I'm definitely gonna go let me humble thyself humble thyself <laughs> I can't I cannot ah I wanted to go to the store so long since the store opened up so the fact that I got the chance to go in there today and I didn't get to stay a lot of time but you know too long because when I go in the store without thinking what I want I go and buy everything that I don't need so I'm excited that it wasn't a long time I didn't get a long time in that damn store because I swear to God all the cash and my money on my card I would have been spending so I see a lot of workout stuff that I need. So I'm going to definitely go back and buy those. Some workout um, hand stuff because I want to do workout. And I see a lot of back to school stuff that I can buy. Like books and cute little pencils and erasers and notepads and stuff like that. So the kids will love those. I bought some keychains to go in my, my daughter's book bag. So I'm going to go back again to buy some more for my oldest child. I bought some letters to go on her book bag. I bought her a book bag as well. Like, oh. I'm excited I'm excited because I like to do DIY stuff so the fact that I could buy a plain bag and put some cute stuff on it and it looks better than the average bag that they sell in the store I'm excited I mean if she don't like it it's fine but I'm gonna do this DIY with her and I think she's gonna be excited so I'm excited for us <laughs> oh my god let me go home so I started doing my coupons as well because I like to save and I like to spend. So I have the balance in between. So I save so I could spend. But I don't overspend. Yeah, I don't overspend. Yeah, okay. So um, I bought, um, they had two pays for buy three, get $5. And they have household stuff that you, you spend $50 and get $15 um, back in gift card. So, um, I got a few things I can show you guys, but I won't be able to show you guys right now. Um, I'll probably show you guys tomorrow or in the, um, in the night when I get back. Probably tomorrow. Because I, as soon as I get in, I have to put on my shoes and leave. I also have to call my husband because I don't know where he's at as yet. He should have been home. And it's almost 5 o'clock. So, we are at work about to bring in the decoration for the party coming so we have a whole bunch of box and backdrops and all this crazy stuff that we're about to put up for decoration but we got to clean up first so when we get there you guys are gonna see I'm gonna show you guys what we got So we want these two lights to be replaced. That one, that one, and the socket. And these two lights right here. And we also need some outdoor socket as well. Maybe in the middle and toward the side.
but I can't, we need to say if we can, all right, we need to take this out and see if I can see about the other side. All right, spring cleaner right there. Well, I'm going to leave my light on. One more mess to deal with. So, when I'm tired, that whole FI, I say, I'm going to put it. I swear, for this type of job, you have to trust the process. <laughs> Just look at this mess. I'm not sure. sure. Trust the process. So, oh my God. It's painted, it's redone. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, he didn't do hair. I thought he was gonna do the whole thing, but he didn't, which is fine. It still, still look good. Look really good, actually. <gasps> it looks so much better. Oh, so pretty. I don't think you can see it. Oh, how black and nice this is right now. Oh my God. Look at the difference. Like, we're gonna fix right there, but, oh my God. Oh my God, we are coming from a long, long, long way. Like, so happy. This makes me so happy. Pick up some space. Y'all too far away. Oh, I'm going to eat a damn egg, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gone. I'm going to eat a damn egg. I'm going to eat a damn egg. 